the problem, I've created some graphics, and they're all different segments and stuff like that, and I want to animate them on the screen. So let's go over here, and I'll show you how to do that and make it happen. So here I am in Premiere Pro, and what I've done is I've created all these elements. This is just basically an end. At the end of all my videos, I put in a thing that says outtakes are coming. Here come the outtakes are coming in however many seconds. Now, I have all these elements here. You can see those elements right there. This is the video. These are the elements that I created. I always create them full screen because I want to reduce them down and not have to reduce, uh, scale them up and then they lose the resolution and everything else. So this is just a little counter here. Now the problem is, is I have one, two, three, four elements with all sorts of stuff in them. I won't go into how I created that. I will if you leave a comment and tell me you want to see this. I want this to count backwards. Number one. Number two, I want to be able to animate this thing onto and off the screen. So the solution is you take all the elements you want to animate or scale or anything on the screen. You right click and you pick nest. Now nest makes a nested sequence. I always call it nest and I'll call this outtakes timer. Boom. Now I have one element and what it does is it creates a sequence here that I can reuse. I can reuse it again, just drag it on here and all is good. Now I have this timer in here. Now if I want to edit this timer, I double click. And look at there, it's taking all the stuff and stuck it in here and it's all good and it works all great and everything else. So now when we go back to here, what we can do is now we can manipulate this as one thing. For instance, if I click on it and I go here and I move it, it's moving everything. I don't have to worry about, undo that, trying to animate each one of these things on or off or scaling them or anything else and everything is cool. So now what I can do is I can come here and say, all right, let's put it right about maybe there. I can move this thing. Let's say we put it up here. Yeah, let's put it up here. Now, the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to reverse this timer. Let's reverse the timer. Speed duration. We're going to reverse the speed. Okay. So now I'm doing it backwards. Over here, I would have to keyframe all these things and do all this stuff to make each one of these elements work. Now I'm just doing it in one single element like this. So now when I come along and let's say I'm going to pop this thing up right there, we'll just make it that long. And it starts at 40 and it counts down and it goes all the way down to one. Boop, and then I do my outtakes. Now I want to animate this on the screen. Again, I would have had to done this all in this whole pack of things for every single one. And instead, I can just animate this thing right here. So we go ahead. I'm going to set a keyframe. Shift right gets me five frames. Set a keyframe. Come back. I'm going to animate it off the screen. Boop. We come over here. Three, two, one. Now watch what happens. Boom. Here we go. Animates on. Starts doing the countdown. Everything's working, everything's turning, everything is going well. And now I was able to do this without having to set keyframes on all of these and move all these in and move all these out and everything else. Nests are awesome for this. If you have a bunch of things that you want to animate in or reverse the speed on or even change the speed of the thing, that's how you do that. And there you go. Don't forget I have free and paid courses over at Basic Filmmaker University. I hope that helps. Thanks for watching and we'll see you next time.